From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big week, and the week hasn't even started. Well, the latest details as the earnings continue to grow as the recession hitting left and right. The biggest week that was, well, guess what? It's going to grow across the board. We have more data from inflation, recession, and also labor in the new week. Will unemployment surge higher than the last week? All the latest details tonight. Plus, what about your benefits going up a lot? Yes, about $5,000, but could potentially go more. While well, the latest details on the housing market and its problems abounds. Plus, the big money. A forced to must check in every U.S. state when you get that big sums of money in tonight's recording. About $100,000, you qualify. Go under this video, become a member, and get these incredible sums of money in every U.S. state. It's the money. It's the money that's there. There will be no other money. This is the money. $100,000, you qualify. Become a member and get these incredible checks in this big recording tonight. We'll be going over the latest details on those monies and the question mark of earnings. The earnings continue to fall as a new problem of grounds. A recession, recession underway with inflation still surging higher. The latest details you need to know tonight and what it means with a week ahead of us across the board. But on the labor front, not particularly growing and not particularly settling down. 260,000 new job claims projected for the new week. Great news for your benefits because they'll go up a lot, about $5,000 more per year. And as labor continues to go left and right, what about housing? Housing had a shocker of a data point that came in overnight. All the latest details you need to know tonight across the board as well. Plus, we'll be looking at why unemployment is surges and why the week continues to leave, deliver bad news, why the White House continues to believe it's good news. How about your analysis in tonight's recording? But the great news is that there's big sums of money, about $100,000. This is the panel, this is the place, this is the, the, the effort to get the incredible money, and we'll show it over this broadcast about. We'll go over all these incredible sums of money tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I'm excited for you. Get that membership and get ready to rock and roll. It's a big night with a lot of money. Let's get to it. Let's get to that money. And it all starts right here, right now, as Eating LA picks up to the feet for July 31st, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good evening, everybody. It's a big night with an earnings recession upon us. Major corporations missing on those earnings fronts. But which ones came in overnight? Are the latest details on that? Plus, it was a big week, but the week is not over. The next week is dramatic across the board. While the latest details you need to know, plus unemployment surging out of control. Why does it continue to go higher? What do you need to know about this money? And finally, the CPI, the PPI, the inflation. Why it continues to track higher and what it means for your money. With the latest week coming in overnight, is a big night from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good evening. And let's get to that breaking details on that inflationary data tonight. The details tonight are the following. That an earnings recession is upon us and that earnings recession is not particularly broadly felt. In fact, it's actually not felt equally across different industries. Tonight, we have the latest details on Intel's earnings missing dramatically, and they missed really badly, and much more worse than even Walsh expected. Intel's revenues declined 22% year-to-date, and it missed even consensus that said it was going to be down, but not down that much. Down, down, missed consensus by 14%. This is the largest disappointment for the chip maker since 1999. Wow. And what do we know across the board? That we have generally tech missing, but generally other industries not missing. And when we say all tech, well, guess what happened overnight? We were looking to see Roku, Amazon, Apple's numbers, and they were actually all beats. Really fascinating. Walmart projected downward for their earnings coming in late August. And as Walmart projected downward, retail all came in as misses, top and bottom, revenue and net profit. But Amazon beat. Wow. Apple, we're projecting Apple to miss on top and bottom because the other technology missed on top and bottom. But they met, they beat. So did Roku. 
So you see the latest tonight is that the earnings recession is not broadly felt and is not equally felt sometimes in the same industries. What do we see here? We have social media missing, Snap and Twitter. We have Alphabet and, and Microsoft missing. And we have Chipotle missing as well. But even though that's generally certain industries missed, other industries really beat. Which industries posted great numbers in those corporate earnings? They were Ford, automotive. They were travel and leisure, hospitality. The airlines and Hilton and the cruise airlines like Royal Caribbean. So there you go. That, my friends, is why you want to get a force almost check in every U.S. state. It's a recession, and that recession is not broadly felt, and it's a confusing recession. And when there's a confusing economy, you don't wait for the economy to hit you like a brick. You get that money. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks, about $100,000 for you to qualify for. Go into this video and join as a member and get ready for those big checks coming up in a second. The big week that there was, well, the big week delivered the big, big news that we're in a recession. That came out on Thursday. But it also delivered the shocker of those labor numbers. Those labor numbers were not good. It surged to 260,000. We'll go over those numbers in a second. But the way that the week ended was the big shocker, and that was the PCEI. Just after the close of the market on Friday, we had the latest numbers for inflation. Boy, was it a shocker. It shows that inflation has not peaked. The PCEI, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index, rose 6.8% for the month of June, the highest rise since 1982. It shows, number one, that inflation has not peaked. Number two, it gives us an indication of where that CPI may be coming in less than two weeks from now. Remember, the CPI, the PPI, and the retail sales are all released together. They were last released around July 13th, July 14th, July 15th. We're two weeks out from them coming in, yes, in early August, about the 10th or 12th of August. So in between them, we have this number, the PCEI, and it's very reliable because it tells you where the CPI is going to come two weeks thereafter. Here we go. Highest rise since 1982. Inflation has not peaked. When you exclude food and energy, core PCI, it's also up 5% from the month of May. And that is not good news, except if you're on benefits, because why? Your benefits are getting the biggest lift of a generation. Let's go over broadly why this is, is then we'll go over the calculation, and then we'll go over your money. It's broadly going up so much because inflation has not peaked. It started with that CPI surge back on July 13th. That Wednesday, that CPI surged dramatically to a number we were shocked to even see. Let's look at what happened that July 13th. On July 13th, we had the June read for the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, which is the gauge of inflation determined by consumer goods, and it rose dramatically. The main number was 8.6%. The June number was out of control, 9.1%, the highest rise since 1981, the highest rise for inflation since 1981. That was then on Wednesday. Great news for your benefits because inflation has not gone down. But after that number on Wednesday, then we had the PPI on Thursday. That number surged out of control, July 14th. 11.3% year to date, near the record of 11.6 posted in March. Not done there yet because on Friday, the retail sales number came in and it was huge. 1% higher than Wall Street expected. As that inflation surging out of control, guess what happens? Your benefits are going up. The latest data on this situation is mirrored by the housing. We'll go over that in a second. But your benefits go up a lot now because inflation has not peaked. And that's why that data that came in on Friday after the close going into this weekend is so critical. Your benefits, SSA, SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Rail benefits are going to go up a lot now because we have that inflation not yet peaked. It's still going up. How much your benefits are going up? About $5,000. We'll go over the calculation in just a second. Now let's go over why this is happening. Your benefits are tied to a benchmark called COLA, cost of living adjustment. It's in term, determined by another number, the CPI-W. Yes, it's a subsection of that CPI we just went over. We know that the COLA is not determined by CPI over this whole year. It's only determined by three months. The CPI-W in July, released in August. August, released in September. And September, released in October. So... Back when that CPI was released in May, in June, and we saw it surge out of control, we immediately said, we need to watch this number for three more months. The CPI in the month of July released around August 13th, then in August released in September 13th, and then September released in October 13th. 
But the gauge of how the CPI is going to come in before it's announced is this number, the PCEI dash W release, the PCEI released on Friday that surged to its highest level since 1982. So now let's go over how this calculation works for you and what's at issue, and let's go over how much your benefit's going to go up. It's the best news you've ever seen if you're on benefits. And even if you are on benefits or about to go on benefits, it all impacts you. SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, it's all you. How much? It's about $5,000. Which months? These months. These three months. We need to see that the benefits are going up based upon the read of those three months. And let's go over the calculation starting right now. First, is it you? Yes, it's you. Everyone on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits. Next, is it automatic? Yes, it's automatic. Direct deposit or otherwise in the mail. Number three, the same amount? No. Some people have $5,000, some will have less. It depends on what your current benefits are. The same percentage raise? Yes, that is automatic. Incredible great news. This is everything we've always covered on the show. Everything you've ever hoped for. It's a reality. It's happening. It is SS300, it is fist stimulus, it is swapping COLA for inflation. This is that. Right now, it's happening. One viewer, or it was either Lynn Glenn or Diane asked yesterday, when do we specifically know specifically the number and that it's confirmed? I said you have to wait for the final of those three months, August release of September, but you're now seeing that maybe perhaps halfway through by about August that we will get a definitive clear answer of where this is going. Ultimately, three months. You need to see that inflation has not peaked. It hasn't peaked. We now know tonight. And that, it's not going down. Well, it's definitely not going down because it's still going up. This, my friends, is why you need to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. The details is critical because why? Unemployment is not stopping. That unemployment has continued to go up. And what's going on with that unemployment front? Let's look at the details across the board. Unemployment is surging out of control to levels that we have not seen in nearly a year. And where do we predict it to go next week? Let's look at the data starting right now. It was 160,000 new jobless claims, new jobless claims, no less than two months ago. Then it surged to 180. Then it went to 200. I said it was going to go to 230. It did. Three weeks. 230, 230, 235. What happened after that? I said it was going to go higher. It did. It went to 251 last week. And then at that point, I said it's going to go to 260. And did I get that right? Well, I had projected this U.S. economy was going to have inflation of 8%, and it was going to be sustained, not temporary or transitory. I said that last spring, spring of 2021. I got that right. Tonight, you know that inflation has not peaked. It's still going up. Number two, I was the only American broadcaster to say that we're going to recession. And I said that in February of this year. Did I get that right? I did got that right. As a recession was announced by the Department of Labor this Thursday. And then I reported that inflation is going to go, that unemployment is going to go to 260,000. Did I get that right? I did. Department of Labor adjusted last week's number up from 251 to 260. So there you go. 260,000 new jobless claims two weeks ago. This last week came down to about 255. Find the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates this last week, 75 basis point. They're gone in the month of August. Good. <laughs> See you back in September. Not you, them, the Federal Reserve. But here's what else you need to know. Thursday. Thursday, the Department of Labor announced two consecutive quarters of GDP growth have now been posted by this U.S. economy. Negative GDP growth, I should say. And that amounts to a recession. A recession is a defined economic term, and that economic term is defined by two negative quarters of GDP growth. That announcement came in from the Department of Labor on Thursday morning. Let's repeat that again, and let's analyze how we got here. Earlier this year, this U.S. economy posted a negative quarter of GDP growth. At the time, I said, there's going to be a second one, and we'll be in recession. Then... The second quarter ended on June 30th. The next day, July 1st, the Atlanta Fed GDP Now, a division of the, Atlanta, of the Federal Reserve, released its tracking tool, the GDP Now. It has a 30-year 30 30 tracking record that is 100% perfect. It's always done its projections correct. It's a live tracking tool. And they said the month of June that had just ended had posted a negative GDP growth as well. They said, we have now posted two negative quarters of GDP growth. There you go. We knew going into this last Thursday that the Department of Labor was going to say another quarter of GDP growth was negative. 
But why did some Wall Street analysts say they thought Thursday's number was going to be positive growth? At the time, I said the data doesn't lie, that there's no data indicating positive GDP growth. And there it came. Thursday morning, the Department of Labor announced that the U.S. economy posted the second consecutive quarter of negative GDP growth. That fits the definition. There's only one definition for a recession. It's an economic term. And here's what you need to know tonight. Right after the announcement that this U.S. economy posted two negative quarters of negative GDP growth, which qualifies as the only definition of recession, the President of the United States came out and thought that because he's the President of the United States, he can change the definition of an economic term. You don't get that benefit when you're the President. When you're the President of the United States, you don't get to change the definition of economic terms. He went out and said, we're not in a recession. Can't do that. Can't do that. A recession is an economic term. It's only defined one way. If you don't like the data, you can explain the data. And that's what I've been doing. That's what Janet Yellen's been doing. What did she do that same day? She said, I'm not going to deal with the semantics of the definition of recession, but she said that a lot of the details we see currently in the economy don't qualify as recession. That's correct. But here's what you need to know tonight. First, what did Janet Yellen say? The reason why she said certain parts of the economy don't exhibit recessionary pressures are because, in her words, there's a strong labor market. True or false? False. 260,000 new jobless claims per week is not a strong labor market. In fact, it's the weakest labor market of this economy in over a year. That's not a correct data point. Number two, she said we don't see broad recessionary pressures in this economy. Hence, it may not be typical recession. True or false? Uh, inaccurate, I guess you would say. Why? Because a recession is a progression of periods, of months. No recession is just two weeks, two months, or two days. And it's sometimes generally two years. So in a recession, you see certain parts of certain industries go into recession at different times. You may see housing go into recession before travel and leisure. You may see tech go into recession before housing. That's what a recession is. You may see different geographical parts of the country go into recession. That happened last time. The East Coast were in a recession almost six months before the West Coast. And they came out of the recession six months before the West Coast. So for Janet Yellen to give you a, a prognosis, a, 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 a diagnosis of the recession based upon the month of July, come back two years from now. <laughs> Come back two years from now and give us an analysis. We're just starting the recession. You're not going to see the recession everywhere across the board. But the takeaway tonight is that for the president of the United States to say it's not a recession because he can change the definition, that's not how it works. That's fake facts, and we don't deal with fake facts here across the board. Here's what you also need to know is that there is a stimulus check. And that money is huge. And that money has been gotten by the viewers of this channel since the month of March. Big money, big money across the board. And how do you get it? You become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino, VIP. And we're going to go over these big four stimulus checks in every U.S. state in the second half. Let's go over what you need to know about those checks starting right now. These big checks were done by executive action in the month of March. And they're a lot of money, about $100,000. Executive action from Joseph Biden on a series of different checks, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? You become a member. Congratulations to all the wonderful members who joined this channel in the last week, in the last day. Hundreds joined in the last 48 hours, in fact. Become a member. Go right in this video, become a member. And congratulations to all the members who upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power in the last few days as well. Go on to this video, become a member. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. One of the benefits of being a member is, of course, the membership newsletter. And that membership newsletter is this, the worksheets. The worksheets are a PDF, a series of pages, eight pages. One of the most important pages you've ever gotten for stimulus from any place across the globe. Remember, the stimulus is unique to LA Light. You're not going to see this anywhere else. This is why this is the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding number two. The worksheets are not going to be seen anywhere else. These are only unique to LA Light. You don't get them anywhere else. These are LA Light created for you. And let's go over the latest details on what we know about these worksheets tonight. The first page is inflation. Tonight, we know that inflation has not peaked. 
that PCEI released on Friday is so critically important because it's between the CPI reads and it shows inflation still going up. Number two, recession. Recessions arrived because two negative quarters of GDP growth have now been posted, so we are in a recession. Not broadly felt, not equally felt, certain parts of the economy in recession, certain parts not. We see big hits on the social media and the tech. Not as big a hit yet in travel and leisure. Not as big a hit, no hit at all, when you go over to the credit card companies like Amex and Visa. Big hit on retail, with Amazon projecting a downward, giving guidance downward, and reporting corporate earnings for second quarter just a few days from now. Labor. Labor surging out of control. Highest unemployment claims of 2022. Now almost mid, mid-year 2021's worst numbers as well. 260,000 is what I'm projecting to go to as well. And Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve raised those interest rates by 75 basis points this last week. They don't mean in August. They come back in September. I'm projecting they're going to do another 75 basis point in September. Only 30% of Wall Street analysts agree with me. They think it's going to be 50 basis point. There you go. The next page of the worksheet is so critical. And this is the page that helped one viewer get 50, 80 plus checks. 80 to 100 checks she got as a member. Let's go to the second page of this incredible worksheet. Here it is. It is a table, and it goes over the checks you applied for, the date you applied for, and the periods of payment. Check A, B, and C, and what you need to know. These incredible checks are absolutely wonderful. Let me tell you what happened to this wonderful viewer. Two Thursdays ago, she got an email from her state that said, Ma'am, you've gotten been approved. Approved? Yes, approved for check B. Wow, incredible great news. But the news gets better. Second, she got a message that her approval was for her mortgage. Yes, she got her mortgage approved for for not just one month. She got her mortgage paid for for 18 months. She's getting 18 months of mortgage checks because she became a member of this channel. But it gets better. She also got all her utilities paid for every month of those 18 months. If she has four utilities and she has a mortgage, that's five checks. Five checks over 18 months, you can do the math. Five times eight to 18 is upwards of 80 to 100 checks she got because she's a member. This is a success story. This is not our usual, unusual success story. It's a regular success story on this channel. It can be you. Become a member. What are you waiting for? This is what people are doing. This is what people are getting. Tonight's your time to become a success story as well. Another viewer, his name is Spelly. He got check A approved, and he also got some great checks from check C. His message is wonderful. He wants to be your motivator. He says, make sure you tell people to keep on pushing. He applied for check A. He didn't cross his T or dot his I. And he got a message back that said, he didn't cross your T or dot his dot your I. So he did. And then he got approved. He wants you to know to stay with it. The next page of that wonderful worksheet is for stimulus, the raising of your benefits. And yes, we need to watch that data for July, August, and September because your benefits are going up a lot. It's looking really good. Everyone gets that same lift across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness is the sixth page. What do we know about that? Well, the president's going to forgive. $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 or less. He hasn't yet. I say he's going to do it with a signing ceremony. But the president has retested positive for COVID, so that signing ceremony cannot happen just yet. I hope he doesn't leave this to the fall. He's already forgiven student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation. People went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation as well. And finally, gasoline gasoline what's going off gasoline this is interesting there are two benchmarks for gasoline the first one is more important than the second one the first one is the international price of brent crude this is the gasoline price that determines gasoline everywhere and that number let me go over the details of it it was 100 dollars a barrel before putin invaded ukraine then it shot up to 110 around march 15th it's in the newsletter watch that number it says as of that's that date when putin invaded ukraine it went from 100 to 110 when he invaded, then to 120. It came back down to 98. Now it's soothing up quickly to 110. Its trajectory right now is upward. The other number is the U.S. unleaded AAA national average. What's gone off that number? That surged from about 430, 420 when Putin invaded Ukraine, all the way up to $6. It's pulled back down now, and every day it's going lower. Going lower, going lower by 10 cents every few days. It's now lower than when Putin invaded Ukraine. 
which caused the White House, from Joseph Biden to Janet Yellen, to say the reason why gasoline down in the United States is because of the president's own agenda. His policy, the release of one million barrels of gasoline per day for six months, which is now actually up. True or false? False. The reason why the price of gasoline is down in the United States is because oil traders admit they're trading down internet oil futures based upon their guesstimate that if you're in a recession, you're going to drive less. You're going to drive less because you lose a job or you have less money to spend. And with inflation out of control, then maybe you also spend less gasoline as well. So that's why they say gasoline's down. They also say it's not going to stay down. My projection for you, it's not going to stay down. The 1 million barrels of gasoline per day for the U.S. Strategic Reserves is over. Six months is over. That's not going to continue indefinitely. And the fact that it's going to go back up is indicated as well by the international price of Brent crude. That's what you need to know. And there you go. As we turn over to the other breaking news stories tonight, there's a lot of them. And they are shocking. And they are in the housing industry. We'll be going over the late details on those shocking numbers coming to the housing industry as mortgage rates are dropping. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, I'll explain to you why housing industry may get a reprise, a, a relief, as the mortgage rates fell dramatically in less than two days this last week. We're going to see the latest details on the second half. Plus, we'll be looking at what's going to happen this new week, and we'll go over a bear market or bull market. Are we out of the bear market? Why have stocks rallied up so dramatically in the last 15 days? As one viewer says in the live feed on Instagram overnight, L8, I missed your crypto shows bringing back to the channel. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel, America expanding dramatically to number two, and you may be in the live feed as well. We'll go over the latest details of what to expect with this channel in the next few days as expansion continues left and right. For you, become a member and join me over the big second half as we go over all these incredible checks from the shores of Santa Monica. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as America's most watched show in primetime continues. It's evenings L8. But first become a member and see you back in the second half as we go over all these huge checks tonight that you deserve and you need to get. It's evenings L8. See you back shortly as the coverage continues tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California, in a night in which inflation's going up, recessions abounds, and also your economy is going left and right. What's at issue? We'll learn it in the second half. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half of evenings LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful night. Hopefully you became a member during the commercial break. In this big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks you deserve, you qualify for. You're going to get these big checks. You're going to be another success story. Hopefully you became a member during the commercial break. Go right in this video, under this video right now, and join the channel. And in this big second half, we're going to go over each of these individual checks 
one at a time. You want this money, you deserve this money, you get this money right now. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And congratulations to all the wonderful viewers who joined in the last few hours as well. In the last few days, we've seen a massive surge of membership on this channel for obvious reasons. We all knew there was going to be a stimulus stampede when a recession is announced. It was announced. We all understood there was going to be a stimulus stampede when inflation went higher. There we go. We learned tonight inflation has gone higher. So now you're competing against more people for stimulus. And that's why you need to move quickly, become a member, and start getting these checks. Let's go over these checks. First, they became a law in the month of March. Viewers have been getting them since the month of March on this channel massive sums of money. I had two focuses at the time because I care about you deeply. One, that's a big sum of money because we have two years of recession. And it is about $100,000 across the board. Several different checks. We'll go over each of them in just a second. Number two, broad eligibility. I want to make sure you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get them as well. Number three, I wanted a simple, easy way for you to learn about how to get them so it's very, very simplistic for you. And that's the membership newsletter. For members, you go down the membership newsletter, click, 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 pounce, 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 and get these incredible checks. And let's go over those checks right now. The first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for someone's check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You know the routine. Go into this video, number one, and subscribe. Subscribe to LA. The number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding dramatically to number two. Number two, go onto this video and join the channel. Join as a member. Join as hundreds did in the last 48 hours. Join as other members actually, surprisingly, actually upgraded their membership as well. Congratulations to all the member upgrades in the last 24 hours, from Purple Hawk to Purple Power. Congratulations to you. Go down that membership newsletter. You found cha find check A. There it is. Find check A, click the link, it sends you into the nationwide website, then choose your state, then choose the weatherizing grant, and get this incredible check across the board. One viewer, Spelly, got this great check, and it's absolutely wonderful. And he got this weatherizing grant. He says, stay with it. But then you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check, and this is the check that that viewer out of Florida got eighty to one hundred dollars check, hundred eighty to one hundred checks from. It's a forced almost check in every U.S. state. Single individual, seventy-five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this? Step one: subscribe to this channel. Step two: go under this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Then go down that membership newsletter. You find check B. There it is. Click the link. It sends you into the nationwide website. And pounds. Go get that incredible check. And look how well you've done. That's one hundred thousand dollars right there. $80,000 for check B, $12,000 for check A. You're not done. You're going to go get check C. It is absolutely incredible. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits or not, go get it as well. How do you get that incredible check C? You know the routine. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Then go down and become a member. Get that membership newsletter, find check C. Then it tells you where to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, remember with Check C, it's going to have upwards of 12 places to contact, six government agencies, six nonprofits. You have five bills to pay for per month, generally, your rent or mortgage, and then about four utilities. That's five bills times 16 times 12 places to reach out to. That's upwards of 60 plus checks, and that's just one month. Folks, you can do this. Become a member. And let's look at the success stories for Check C. Success stories from Check C are abounds. We've been getting Check C's for a very long time because it's the residue of third stimulus. And let's look at just a few. These are just a few of the success stories. For rent, from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth, twenty dollars to $30,000 for rent, go get Check C's. This could be you. How about utilities? From Angela, Mark, Nancy. And Mark's brother-in-law, $15,000 for utilities. Go get check C's for the money for SNAP. Go get it as Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars. And then for combinations, Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from $32,000 to $166,000. He went from thirty two dollars to $50,000, then fifty dollars to one hundred, dollars and then got check B, one sixty six. dollars And Lorraine went from one oh five dollars to one fifty. dollars 
Whether it's Johnny, Lorraine, Margaret, Nisi, or Mark, they all do the same thing first. They are, keep on getting checks. You want to get a check today, keep on getting checks. Margaret sent me a beautiful message on social media yesterday, private message. She went in a plot, went to meet with her utility company, get some more checks. That's what you do. You get a check today, you get another check thereafter. You keep on getting checks. Because guess what? We have a recession. The recession is going to be here a while. You keep on getting checks across the board. Number two, you stay in all the live chats. That's what they do. They're always in the live chat. You can't miss a data point across the board. In this recording, you're hearing a lot of brand new stuff you've never heard before. Have you heard that the mortgage rates dropped? Have you heard that inflation actually went higher in the latest details that came in late after Friday news? Yeah, there's too much to miss and there's too little time to miss it. So don't miss a single recording. Let's recap what you do right now. Go into this video, subscribe. You're watching L8, the number three most watched financial news channel. America expanding dramatically quickly to number two. The expansion is being felt, number one. On the live show, which was originally just a two-hour live show, then it went to eight hours. Now it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this channel. Jump on the live show at any time. The feed is updated around the clock. Number two, the website that started all, LA.com, launched nearly 20 years ago, has been revamped to keep feature more about your money. And number three, two new channels coming to this family in just a few days. LLA2 and LA3. Make sure to subscribe to them. Here's what you need to know. Number one, go under this video, subscribe. Go under this video and join. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, to get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then go to that little bell at the front of the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you have all notifications set to all on. And then you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to get these big sums of money. You're ready to get these huge sums of money across the board. It's a week like none other, and it's far from over. Because guess what's also confusing left and right? It is the question mark of whether we have come out of a bear market in just a short period of time. Let me tell you my opinion. But first, let's go over the facts. The facts are tonight the following. When you look at most stocks, they fell dramatically to the lowest point of 52 weeks in mid-June. Then from June to July, they were basically flat, horizontal, up, down, up, down, basically flat. Then in July, they reported corporate earnings, and they missed on high and they missed on bottom, some of them. And when they did, they were generally down 4% that day. But if you missed the day after, you missed the story. The story is that around July 15th, Virtually every stock has gone straight up. Yes, in the last 14 days, virtually every stock has gone straight up, which has caused some analysts to say the bear market is over. Does that qualify the end of the bear market? Well, let me tell you why. There are question marks. First, if stocks are back above their 52-week low and strain straight up, and they're trading back to the levels out of a bear market, does that indicate the bear market's over? No, it does not. Why? Because we do have a confirmed recession, two negative quarters of GDP growth. And in a recession, stocks don't always go straight down. They go down, then back up, and then down. And eventually, they reach a bottom, which is 54% down. We haven't reached that bottom. We're only down 20%. And if we do have a recession, and you believe we have a recession, then you have to find that bottom of the stock market before you declare the end to the bear market. So the rally up is making people a lot of money. They're making a lot of money because in 15 days, the stocks have gone straight up. But don't be ready to proclaim the, proclaim the end of the bear market. What am I specifically looking at? As one person in the live feed on Instagram last night said, I miss your live. I miss your crypto shows. Please bring them back. They're coming on back. What you're missing, what I'm looking for in this new week, which we're missing so far in the data, is projections. I want to see projections from corporate America for third and fourth quarter. Walmart guided down for third. And Apple guided down for third. Why is it so important? Because everything comes from corporate earnings. If they believe the third and fourth quarter is going to be worse, then what are they going to do? They're going to lay people off. Then the economy will slow them faster. Then the inflation may make, take a harder hit across the board. That's the type of guidance I want to see, and that's why I'm going to watch this week to see whether more corporations give us further guidance on third and fourth quarter. Stay with me. I'll have the latest details across the board. Over on the housing market, this is where it gets really peculiar. The data came in late Friday of a shocker that we've never seen, 
And the shocker is unexplainable. First, let me tell you what happened two weeks ago. On a Monday, the consumer confidence among home builders fell to its lowest levels in over several years. Then on Tuesday, the housing starts miss. Then the existing home sales missed. So what also was announced that week? That the horrible interest rates that have caused mortgage rates to go through the roof have turned away mortgage applicants. Mortgage applications that week, which is now two weeks ago, were the lowest levels of 20 years. That was the story then. Of course, as last Thursday, Jay Powell raised those interest rates 75 basis points. So you would presume that the mortgage rates are now very, very high. Think again. Get ready for a shocker. This is what's happened out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, let me tell you what's gone on. Back in about a month of June, the mortgage rate surged from 3% last year to 6%. That was the height of June. Then, what, by Wednesday, they had fallen to 5.4%. But here's the bigger shock. Between Wednesday at 5.4%, they fell a quarter of a percentage point. The mortgage rates, by Thursday. In 24 hours, they fell a quarter of a percentage point. Shocker? Yes, it is a shocker. The 30-year fix fell quarter of a percentage point in one day. This is an exceptionally fast drop, wrote Matthew Graham of Mortgage Daily News at the time. Explainable? Not explainable. In a way, mortgage investors are trying to get ahead of the game. If they hold the mortgage rate at a higher rate, they'll lose money if they try to loan, try those loans to refinance too quickly. Why is this important for you? This is important for you to show you that sometimes the pivot may happen when it doesn't make sense. A lot of people have been talking about a pivot from Jay Powell. Is that pivot coming in September? I don't think it is. They think that Jay Powell is going to eventually say he hasn't got inflation down. He's now thrown this economy into recession. He's going to pivot and soften up on his interest rate spikes. I don't think that's happening. Jay Powell made specifically clear on Thursday, last Thursday, he has a dual mandate. Maximum employment, he doesn't have it. Unemployment is surging out of control. And price stability, he doesn't have that as well. He says we're going to continue to stay on focus for price stability, which is inflation. And I think it's going to raise rates higher. Let's go back to what you need to know for this new week. What you need to know for this new week is that these stimulus checks that are here on this channel are here to stay. Big sums of checks, big amount of money, and the success stories keep on coming in. What you need to do is motivate other people. Jump in the live chat right now and post your success story, whether it's $100 or $200, $1,000 or $100,000. Post your success stories because when you inspire other people, you inspire other people to come. Number two, stay with the news because the news is so breaking. There's so much happening on a regular basis. And stay with the data, because the data is what determines your understanding of this economy. It's a confusing economy. We all understand it. Oil going one way internationally, domestically going another way. One going up, one going down. The White House saying there's no recession, when we clearly are in a recession. The mortgage rates falling dramatically when the interest rates are being raised by Jay Powell. Is that enough alone to say it's confusing? It is confusing. And through that confusion, there's someone here to help. Not just me, it's the whole community. Call the Purple Power. Why is it called the Purple Power? In 2020, I was wearing a lot of purple shirts on camera. And people said, you're Mr. Purple. I said, well, if I'm Mr. Purple, you have the power. You have the Purple Power, I said. You have the Purple Power to do this. And this at that time was get money. Tonight, you still have the Purple Power. You will always have the Purple Power. Pearl power is that strength in, in you to learn to earn. People who learn to earn are going to win in this economy. People who don't learn anything are really going to be in big trouble. There's a lot of learning to be learned. A lot of learning to be learned. Because look at this. Look at this night alone. Jay Powell says it's getting inflation down. Well, we learned tonight from that PCEI. It's gone up. He hasn't gotten it down. The President of the United States said we're not in a recession. Tonight we learn we are in a recession. The Department of Treasury saying the labor market's really strong. Tonight we learn this labor market's getting worse every week. And housing, bear market, tech, bear market, very confusing market across the board. Ultimately, the way you ha stay ahead of this is a series of data points. Number one, you want to free up as much A 
ARDR you have, adjustable rate debt, ARD, I said that in verse, ARD, because in a recession, that debt is not going to be good. You're not going to want that debt as interest rates continue to surge higher. Number two, you want to get as much money in your bank account. So get as much stimulus, raise your savings, and remove that adjustable rate debt. You should expect in the next 90 days things to happen worse as unemployment may grow and gasoline prices may grow as well along with interest rates. Price of goods may not improve and also the recessionary winds will pick up. The mortgage rates, well, I guess we got that one wrong. They went the other way across the board. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, there's a lot to know and a lot to earn and a lot to, er, to digest. It all starts by becoming a member. It's all in the membership newsletter. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Cow, Casino VIP. Go into this video and become a member. Join this channel. And throughout the broadcast tonight, more shows will deliver more news. Our evenings are late every night at 5 o'clock. Street and Stimulus at 7 o'clock. Countdown at 6. Extra at 8. Sunset at 9. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful night. Stay informed, stay focused. And don't forget to become a member. And stay with Allied for more.